Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Ejected the body. There you go. She wants to be naked. What's up, guys? Uh, RC Dude 81 here. Uh, Eric. Um, I got tagged by uh, uh, Chris Anthony uh, from uh, Commander Astig. Uh, RC, that dude just absolutely kills it. And just a huge shout out to you, man. I mean, you, you just, I mean, you, you were definitely my uh, ramp blast brother. <laughs> I mean, the way you just uh, full speed ahead ramp sends, you know. I mean, you guys know that's what I'm all about. That's what keeps my blood flowing. So I really appreciate the shout out. Uh, uh, you know, it means a lot. Uh, first of all, you know, of course, I'm really into RC. And uh, as far as my other hobbies, uh, I'm into RC boats. Um, I know I don't show a lot of that on, uh, on, my, on my channel. Uh, that's mainly something I do just for fun, you know, just for personal pleasure uh, with my, my dad, too. He's really into the boats. Um, I do spend a lot of time with those. Um, I just, you know, I just like to throw a video in here and there on the channel uh, just to kind of, you know, diversify it some. Uh, but another uh, big hobby of mine is music. Um, I love music. I love to collect music. I love to cl uh, collect albums like uh, vinyls and vintage uh, vinyls. We've got a huge uh, CD and tape collection. Um, and I just, I just all around love music. Uh, and I like to play music. Um, I play a variety of instruments, uh, guitar, trumpet, um, some drums, uh, just about anything I can get my hands on. I, I try to play a French horn even. Um, of course, you know, I've got my guitars here. I've got, got several guitars, classical guitars, uh, just pretty much anything that is, is, is music. I, I love it. So that's, that's one of my big hobbies. I've been doing that for a long time. I did it in school. I was a huge band nerd. Uh, pretty much in every band in high school, marching band, jazz band, symphonic band, concert band, uh, you know, any kind of band class, I was there and, and just completely dedicated to it from a very young age. Uh, another big uh, hobby and side business of mine, um, you know, for, for those of you who don't follow me on social media or Facebook, is I'm, is I'm an artist. Uh, I love to paint, um, like oil painting. Um, I'm in several galleries across the, across the nation. Um, it's just something that is, is more of a, a you know, a therapy type thing for me and I, I can just really open my mind up to, you know, to the uh, imagination. Um, another hobby of mine would be uh, outdoors, uh, biking, uh, boating, um, hiking. I've, I've, I've done a lot of hiking, a lot of backpacking trips. Um, I just love being in nature. All right, and as far as uh, tagging goes, um, I would have to tag, uh, first of all, um, I know Thomas P has been tagged already from TP Parts RC Extreme, but, but I mean, he is a huge inspiration to me. A great friend, um, you know, we talk a lot, and he's inspired me from ever since before I even started with Arma at all. Uh, he's the one that got me into Arma, just uh, watching his old uh, videos of his Nero, um, you know, back in the day, and just the, the huge sins off the gravel pits, and just, I was like, man, this, <laughs> the, the RCs that I have right now just, you know, will not do that kind of stuff, so that's when I got into Arma. And then, uh, you know, again, big shout out to Rich Deeper Bash. I mean, you've been a, a great friend and a great inspiration. Uh, I, I just can't explain, you know, how much you've inspired me and, and, and helped me out. Uh, but as far as the tags go, yes, I would have to tag uh, Thomas P, um, definitely. Uh, 12R1, Chris, I mean, you're one cool dude. Um, you know, again, I'm, I've been watching your stuff for a long time and you've inspired me and um, you're just, you just got some really cool videos and you just never stop, you know. I mean, you just, you just keep pushing. Um, and the third tag would have to be um, Ed uh, from Bickety Bam, <laughs> I mean, that dude is cool. I mean, Ed, you're you're freaking amazing, and your uh, your commentary is, is second to none and hilarious at times. Uh, it just keeps me rolling, you know, in the floor sometimes. Um, and you're just like the front flip king for one thing. <laughs> so I don't even try to do the front flips, you know, like like you do. So uh, big uh, hats off to you for that. So. That's my three tags, and um, I guess we'll uh, see you guys later. What's up, guys, in Peace. the uh, studio here or at the workbench. Um, I've got I've got purple. Um, as you can see, she's got a new body. It's, it's kind of dark in here. It's dark outside. Um, so I'm, so sorry about the lighting. Uh, but the new body is the C10. I painted it candy purple, and I did back it with black. So she's like a beautiful midnight purple. It's kind of hard to see in here, but it, I mean, it looks really cool out in the sunlight. I mean, it looks black at some angles, and then you know, really cool purple in, in others. Uh, I'm gonna be running Badlands on her this bash. Uh, the main reason for this video though is to test out some new prototype parts from uh, Mitch from M2C Racing. I mean, this dude is just killing it with these awesome upgrades. Um, you know, with the chassis and the uh, new uh, rear brace that uh, Rich has been testing out, along with the shock caps. What we have caps. here is um, a front chassis brace. 
coolest thing about this is it comes with uh, pre-drilled for a four millimeter bolt with a lock nut that comes with the kit and it also comes with the uh, drill to drill out your top plate because uh, you know I've been doing this for a long time anyway but I've pretty much had to drill out all my braces and then put a bolt in with a nut so but this already comes uh, prefab for that so all you got to do is just drill it out run your bolt in and then and then lock it down uh, and that should uh, prevent any kind of you know your um, little screws busting off that comes with the with the other uh, another stock awesome race. thing I'm gonna be trying out here is these uh, new uh, uh, pillow ball uh, retainer nuts uh, uh, they're made you know the genius of Mitch has made these to where they'll screw in about three quarters of the way in and then they lock down so you can get a real snug fit and then have just the right amount of play in your in your hub there and it also comes with a Delrin uh, pillow ball uh, retainer bushings I mean these are really high quality Delrin and they're you know they should not right, I'm gonna show out. you real quick how this locks down so you would um, pop in your uh, bushing first And then once you get to about right there, it starts to snug up. Then you just crank down on it until you get the right amount of play that you want. That's about right right there, just a little bit of play, but not too much. And it's nice and snug, so there's so, so it shouldn't uh, back out. It's pretty ingenious. That's gonna <laughs> that's gonna save a lot right there. Um, a lot of convenience. All right, guys, we're gonna give her a quick run, and um, you know she's gonna be my test subject, like I said, for the brace. The uh, pillow ball retainer nuts, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. All right, guys, got purple out here. I'm gonna give her a quick, quick uh, little run. It's getting hot real quick. I tried to get out here early, but it's just <laughs> doesn't take long for it to get steamy. But anyway, a uh, big shout out to our Corey Patterson. Uh, he gave me the idea with uh, the issue with my batteries uh, coming unplugged. I took a zip tie and ran it around the connection right here. Uh, that way, it really locks it down, and um, it shouldn't come unplugged no matter what. So I, I do um, keep a, a small set of scissors in my pocket. Uh, just in case there's an emergency and I need to, you know, unplug the battery. So hopefully that's going to solve that issue. Um, again, running the M2C uh, brace in here with the um, M2C uh, pillow ball retainer nuts. So uh, let's give it a run see how it goes. Oh, that was close. Looks like that took some body mounts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Busted the front was clean off. <laughs> Kind of shaved the ramp on that one. <laughs> uh, looks like it pulled a link loose in the steering. <laughs> Ejected the body. There you go. She wants to be naked. Oh, that was close.
Oh. <laughs> that don't sound right. That don't sound right. Ah, got a big stone stuck in there. That'll do it. <laughs> Surprised that body's hanging on right now. It's only got two posts that are in. It popped my uh, steering link again. Ah! <laughs> Body ejection once again. All right, guys, I'm off to call it right now. It's kind of a short run. Um, Again, it's just getting way too hot out here and electronics are getting way too hot uh, i did notice just now a little bit of slop in my steering and i noticed one of my bolts can't, probably can't see it in the sun one of my bolts have sheared off on the uh, voltage mount right there so i'm off to get that drilled out uh so far it looks like the m2c brace has held up very nice um still loving these uh, pillow ball container uh, retainer nuts the hubs are still still perfect they haven't come loose so that's uh, very genius of Mitch. Mitch Looper, big shout out to him once again, um, just for you know producing all these awesome parts and uh, being very innovative with it at the same time. Uh, so anyway, hopefully we'll uh, get out again soon. Until next time, RCD Data One. Peace out. <laughs>